thank you everyone for coming out here today. Uh, I remember just a week after I left, left state service as director of the State Department of Probation, Parole, and Pardon Services in 2001, uh, America suffered its uh, most significant uh, terrorist attack in, in, our, in our nation's history. Uh, one of the greatest lessons learned from that attack was the importance of all of our first responders, uh, men and women like those standing behind me who run towards danger when all the rest of us run in the opposite direction, uh, have the proper tools and technology to communicate uh, when it's needed most. Um, as our city continues to grow and flourish, attracting people and businesses all from all across the world to come to the Midlands and to our capital city, it's critical that we stay focused, uh, even this many years later, on our most important duty, which is to keep our citizens safe. We have to be innovative in our efforts to support public safety, and that's why we're here today. We have to be thoughtful about establishing good, strong, smart public-private partnerships, and we're so excited to be working with AT&T to deploy the first net technology in the city of Columbia. Uh, this technology will allow our first responders the ability to communicate more effectively than ever before. Efficient communication is important day by day, but it's even more important during times of emergency. Uh, with FirstNet, our city's first responders will have priority access to a fast and secure network when they need it most, when we need them most. Along with ShotSpotter, recently proposed ordinances around reducing gun violence and hate crimes, among other efforts, this technology aims to give our first responders another important tool that they need to keep our community safe. The deployment of FirstNet will be the largest in the state of South Carolina, and we're very appreciative to AT&T of South Carolina, especially State President Jane Sosby, Director of Legislative Affairs Terrence Ford, and the entire AT&T team for their work in helping to improve the safety and security of our citizens all across Columbia. I want to thank all of you, uh, and we look forward to finding uh, every way possible to make the city of Columbia a safer place for all people. And, and, and obviously, I want to make sure I thank uh, these incredible men and women standing behind me who do the tough work uh, on behalf of the people of Columbia every single day. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Terrence Ford. He's Director of Legislative Affairs for AT&T. Terrence. Mayor Benjamin, Chief Jenkins, Chief Kelly, thank you for the opportunity uh, to take part in today's announcement. At AT&T, we've been looking forward to this day for a long time, for we're excited about FirstNet and the difference it's going to make in our community for our first responders uh, across the country and here in Columbia. We're honored that the FirstNet Authority chose AT&T to build this dedicated nationwide communications platform. The recommendation for a dedicated purpose-built solution for first responders was born from the communication challenges they experienced during the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Consequently, FirstNet is designed specifically for first responders and those critical to their emergency response. It exists to provide first responders across the nation the communications capabilities and connections they need, connecting them to each other and to information. Across the country today, more than 9,000 service agencies are subscribed to first, FirstNet, uh, more than 750,000 connections. And we're thrilled that Columbia's first responders are a part of that. FirstNet delivers always on 24 by 7 priority and preemption across voice and data communications. But it's really what's enabled by, those connect by that connectivity that is making the biggest difference. This platform brings the power to connect a variety of public safety things that will help re first responders gain deeper insight into emergencies unfolding around them. Things such as connected cameras, drones, biometric sensors, vehicle routing, and more. In addition, public safety agencies participating in FirstNet have access to a nationwide fleet of 75 deployable network assets, including sat colts and flying cows. I'll be happy to talk more about those if someone's interested later. But the important part is this equipment can be pre-staged or called upon in emergencies to help first responders stay connected, operate faster, safer, and more effectively when lives are on the line. Mr. Mayor, thank you again for the opportunity to be here. And most of all, thank you for the opportunity to serve Columbia's first responders.
It's my pleasure to bring up uh, my friend and the incredible chief of the Columbia Richland Fire Department, uh, Chief Arbor Jenkins. I was telling the mayor that's Aubrey D. Jenkins. <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you all for being here. Certainly, um, I can remember uh, during the inception of this when I was at SLED when we were talking about this. And so I'm so glad to see us finally come to the city of Columbia um, in, in our effort to use this, this system. Uh, this is a very, gonna be a, a very reliable system for us because you know, communication with us is very important. Uh, you know, we have to communicate not only with one another, but we have to communicate with those other agencies as well. So they give us the opportunity to do that in a very effective way. You know, if we're, whether we're at the William Bryce Stadium in a crowd of 86,000 and with everybody using their cell phones, we're on this network, we'll be able to, uh, to use, uh, the, to communicate with one another very effectively. Or even if we're at, uh, um, in five points at St. Patty's, we'll be able to communicate very effectively. So I am so glad that this is, is coming to fruition. It's, it's almost like, you know, uh, cities have fire lanes. Those fire lanes are, are there for the fire truck or emergency vehicles to get through pretty quickly without being um, hindered. So I look at this network as, as a fire lane or an emergency lane because now we got an avenue that we can travel down without being hindered in any kind of way. So I'm very excited. Uh, I want to thank the mayor as, as well and also um, AT&T for this uh, very um, elaborate um, system and we thank you so much because it's gonna really do us some very good, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Um, now, a Deputy Chief of the Columbia Police Department, uh, uh, Deputy Chief Melron Kelly, who on a number of different issues, um, I spend time with Melron traveling the country as a, as a wonderful subject matter expert of uh, innovative things happening in law enforcement and law enforcement technology. Chief Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And thanks to AT&T. When lives hang in the balance, uh, this technology platform will better allow us to help save lives. Uh, to be one of the first in the Midlands to have this technology will best position us to help those uh, in our public that need us the most. Um, we just want to make sure that we continue to be a strong city, a smart city, and most of all, a safe city. So with the rollout of this technology, we will be better positioned as a police department, as a fire department, and as a city to better serve you, and that's what we're here for. So thank you. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.